Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be reasons why you shouldn't own guinea pigs. I'm doing a collab with Piggy101, and their video is reasons why you should own guinea pigs. So after watching this video, go check their video out. I'll link both their video and their channel in the description. Alright, so let's get on with the video. The first reason why you shouldn't own guinea pigs is they could cost you a good amount of money. You might think that guinea pigs are cheap, but in reality, they aren't. You have to provide them with hay all the time, and it could cost you a good amount of money. I know that I spend around $30 to $40 every month on hay for my guinea pigs. Also, vet bills can be pricey. This is especially because guinea pigs are exotic animals. Guinea pigs get sick too, and you need to be able to afford the vet bill. The vet bills could range on the price depending on the vet and what is wrong with the guinea pig. You are at least spending $100 or more when you go to a vet. Another reason why you shouldn't get guinea pigs is if you can only get one. Guinea pigs are social animals and they are much happier when they have a friend or more. They love being with their own kind and love to play and snuggle with other piggies. It makes them feel safe and secure. Humans aren't enough and they need to have another guinea pig. If you can only have one guinea pig, don't get one or get them a friend. This is super important. The next reason why you shouldn't have guinea pigs is if you don't have enough room in your house for a big cage. Guinea pigs need a large cage to run around and live in. Store-bought cages are not good enough and the guinea pigs could get easily bored and depressed. They need their exercise and room to run around and be free. How would you feel if you were crammed in a small room all day? You will see a huge difference in the guinea pigs' personalities too. Another reason why you shouldn't get guinea pigs is they can be very messy. Guinea pigs need hay in their diet no matter what and hay can get everywhere. It just travels with you. Also, depending on what substrate you use, guinea pigs bedding could go everywhere as well. I use fleece, but I used to use bedding and it would stick to everything. Also, guinea pigs poop a lot. And I mean a lot. You always need to make sure their cage is clean and poop free as you can because that will keep them healthy. Also, their fur sticks to everything you own. It is definitely not as bad as like a dog or cat, but definitely it gets on you and it can be a pain. Another reason why you shouldn't get guinea pigs is you would need to find someone to look over your guinea pigs while you go on vacation. Guinea pigs always need someone watching them because they can fall ill at any time. Plus they need to be fed hay all the time and someone to take care of their cage maintenance. Plus, you feel a lot better leaving the house for vacation when you know someone is going to be watching them. The next reason why you shouldn't get guinea pigs is they could be loud at times. When guinea pigs are hungry, you'll know it. They could squeak loud and even wake you up at night. They also drink loud from their water bottle. Pebbles has a really ear-piercing squeak, but only when she thinks there's food. When Reese's drinks water, she drinks really loud for some reason. Just be prepared for them to make noise. The last reason is dedication. You need to be dedicated when you get your guinea pigs. They live four to eight years and some even longer and you need to be committed to taking care of them. They are a lot more work than people think. You have to clean their cage, make sure they're healthy, feed them hay and veggies, spend time with them and a lot more. So that is it for my video and I hope you enjoyed. Remember to go watch Piggy101's video about reasons why you should own guinea pigs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!